Okay, so let's get our model sheet onto a plane inside of 3ds Max. Uh, one thing before we go ahead, I just really want to stress is the fact that this can be done with any character that you have. So any swimming character, like a fish or a whale or something like that, it can be done with anything. So if you're following along and you want to use your own model sheet and you want to create your own character, um, definitely do so because the stuff that we're covering can be used on anything, anything that swims. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and put in our snark who we just uh, created in the last lesson, the image that we made. Let's go and put that on a plane. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it and I'm not going to worry about the proportions too much. Um, we're just going to come up with whatever we get because we're going to try and apply this to anything. So with the perspective viewport highlighted, I'm just going to hit Alt and W just to maximize it. And I'm just going to move that around a little bit. And I'm going to grab my standard primitives and uh, and I just want a plane for this actually. Yeah, so let's just use a plane and just click and drag in the viewport. So like I said, I'm not really worrying about the size at the moment. I'm just going to end the tool with my right mouse button and use the select and move tool just to center this out. So to center it in the grid, it's pretty simple. You can come down to the bottom and type zero into here if you want to, or you can just right click the spinner, which I usually do, which is a little bit quicker and easier as well. So I'm just going to hit J just to turn off this uh, bounding box. And I'm going to go to my modify panel with the plane still selected. And if I hit F4 just to turn on edge faces, you can see that we've got four length and width segments and we don't actually need these. So you can see in the modifier panel here that we can just right click these spinners again and that will drop down to one. So without opening the material editor, just to get the material on this, we want that uh, that awesome shock that we just that we just sketched up in Photoshop before. I'm just going to open that in my viewer and I'm just going to left click and drag and drop that on and that should display in the viewport as you can see. So I'll just minimize that screen and let's use the rotate tool with uh, the snaps on as well, so the angle snaps and we'll just rotate that in X in this case by 90 degrees so to do that just click and drag with the angle snap and you can see in the viewport that it's actually updating with the amount of degrees of rotation that I've got and down here at the bottom as well you can see this updating as well so we can just hit that to 90 and that should be fine so if I jump to my friend viewport by pressing F you can see that my shark is in it I'm just gonna hit G and I'm gonna turn off the grid in the background and this is where we can worry about the proportions a little bit but like I said I'm not gonna spend too much time on it we can do this with any sort of swimming character so if you're following along uh, make it however big you need it to be um, I'm just gonna set the length of this to 100 and I think maybe the width, because we're at 143, probably 175 is probably going to look okay. Yeah, I think that looks alright. So the eye looks pretty spherical, which is nice. So it sort of matches up with what we had in Photoshop. So one last thing with this, I'm just going to jump back to my perspective viewport by pressing P. And I'll just turn that grid back on again by pressing G. And if I grab hold of that plane and just move it back, so coming up here and using the select and move tool or pressing W, and I'm just going to drag it back in Y. And because when we're modeling, we don't want to be selecting this all the time when we're uh, marquee selecting. If we just right click and go to object properties, so bring up uh, a big, big menu. Um, and all we have to worry about here is just down in the display properties area. Um, we'll just turn off show frozen in gray and I'll just OK that and what that means is we can come in here right now and press uh, our right mouse button and we can do free selection so what that will do is it will keep it in the scene but it means that we can't actually grab hold of it right now which is really nice so if we jump back to the front viewport hit the G key just to turn off that grid again and then I'm going to just jump back into perspective just so I can save this file out and that's ready to go that's the image plane set up and the model sheet already on it so we're ready to start modeling on this guy